Chosen one, chosen one, chosen one. Tell your mama, tell your sister, tell your friend, tell your cousin. We are back with another one. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So let's get straight into the video, y'all, because I don't want to hold you no longer than I have to. Listen, the enemy think he's so slick. Your adversary, your enemies, that person that's keep getting on your nerves, they think they so slick. They will come and drop that negativity off on you and act like you don't see it. Don't nobody care about their opinions, but they try to be so slick about it that if you're not careful, you will take on the same bad energy. You will take on their thoughts, their projections about you. Oh, I see you with your little car. Oh, I see that you bought yourself a little house. Oh, your hair is pretty. It's so big and messy. They think they slick, baby. But see, God has removed those dark spirits from you and the scales from your eyes. And now that that light is surrounding you, you know what it is. You peep the game. You know that they sitting up and they really ain't rocking with you. You know that. But you got to be careful that you don't allow their negativity to overtake your thoughts, to overpower what you know to be true for yourself. They will come in and drop that dead energy, drop that bad energy on you. And before you know it, you done took on the words that they spoke over your life and you have made it a reality. Don't nobody care what they got to say about you. They don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. They will parade around with these masks. They will parade around and act like they got it all together. They will parade around and try to make it seem like that is you. That's in the pit. That is you. That's just broke. That is you. That's just broken hearted. That is just you. That can't get your life together. That is just you. You the only one going through that. How is it that you serve this God? That you talk about your positivity and you can't get your life in order. They are liars. They are snakes. They are fakes. They are pretenders. They will make it seem like that is something wrong with you, with their opinionated selves. That's all it is. It's not a fact. It's an opinion. And they are working for the kingdom of hell. They are working for the kingdom of darkness to stop you, to make you feel bad. Let me tell you, baby, their opinions is not your reality. Their opinions of you does not matter. Everybody have an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. Be mindful. Be aware of these people that you are allowing in your space. That you are allowing to speak over your life. That you are allowing to come in and drop that negativity off on you and they run about their way. They know what they're doing. This has been happening since you were a child. People slick, saying slick comments about you, talking about you as a child. But not anymore, baby. And we don't have to sit up and we don't fight with flesh. We don't do that. We fight in the spirit realm. Cut these people off. Cut them off completely. See, when they don't have no access to you, that make them even matter. When you be unbothered, that make them even matter. The devil love to take your energy. The enemy love to have your energy because you have light. So if they can come and drop their negativity off on you and pick up your good energy, they love it. But the moment you cut them off, the moment you stop allowing it, the moment you stop them dead in their tracks, they hate it. Cut these people off. They're not friends, they're not families, they're not lovers, they're not boyfriend, girlfriends, associate, whatever you want to call them. They are just holding titles and space in your life. Don't nobody care what they got to say about you. Your situation, your life, how you deciding to move. Be careful about what you take on. People will speak stuff over your life. And if you're not careful, you will take that stuff on. You will let it fester in here. Mm -mm. It's done. Don't nobody care what nobody got to say about you. Keep doing you. Keep being you. Keep elevating. 
And when it comes to anything that God put his hands on, ain't nothing small about that, baby. No business. Nothing. They'll throw that little business in front of it, little car in front of it, trying to be funny. Hateful, mean, jealous, envious. And no, I'm not spreading hate. I'm putting light on the demons, on darkness. We've been held in captivity for so long by what people have said over our lives, what people have done to us. That's done, that's over. We walking in freedom. We're speaking up. We're cutting people off unapologetically. They already know what they did. They can play confused and play crazy if they want to. That's up to them. They take it up with God. Move on, baby. Move up. It's elevation season. Elevating here. Because when you tackle that, baby, everything else on the outside is going to automatically elevate. Don't worry about what nobody else got to say about you. Their opinions can't pay your bills. Their opinions can't put you in heaven or hell. Their opinions can't stop what it is that God has already planned and predestined for your life. So until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.